Well, when uh, the new rules came out in 2002 and we were coming off of a couple successful sports car designs, it was just a perfect fit for our company. We, we designed a car in 2002 and went to try to sell it for the inaugural year, you know, for 2003, and no one really seemed interested in our car. And uh, that kind of baffled us a bit. And then, uh, you know, in 2004, we secured Ganassi as a customer. Then Wayne had a SunTrust sponsorship, and uh, Wayne and I formed a team, and we ran that. So uh, that's kind of how we got involved. Bob Riley, my father, was in charge of the design. I think he hit the marks right off the bat. We had uh, good design help, even Travis Jacobson, you know, who works for SunTrust at this time. You know, he was on the design team, and he did an, an, a great job at the start. And then we got the right teams. We gave them the right support, both technically and parts and service. And I think it just all took off from there. I think one of our bigger accomplishments is winning the Rolex six years in a row now. And that's really the one that gives me the most pride is, is winning the 24 Hours Daytona, both with the Daytona prototype and with the GT car. We're probably starting to slowly get our spares stocked up for Daytona. Putting the headlights in, putting the rock guards in. Um, this one is actually for AIM Autosport, so we're just uh, getting this one ready for a spare for them. It'll take about you know under a day to get this all done, and they don't go on the truck. And the next time we see those guys, we'll we'll give them a nose or we'll ship it out. And then on the walls, you'll see there's different subassembly drawings. So that's all done in here. You know all the different subassemblies. Most of these drawings on the wall are for the GS Camaro. This is a customer's DP car, and uh, it's just kind of coming here, to, and we're going to figure out what we're going to do with it in a little bit, where the customer's going to sort out what they want to do with it. This is a brand new car over here. That's chassis 39 sitting on the floor right there. Okay. And that car um, isn't sold yet, and when it gets sold, we'll put it back in the fixture and put the back half of the chassis on, depending on what engine it gets, whether it gets a flat six Porsche or a V8. So we kind of build it to this point and we have it sit for a while until we're ready to go. Right now, if someone said go and had to have this car done, it's probably seven weeks away. Uh, this one's a week away, if someone said go. There's a GS Camaro. That was a car that was built at General Motors as a prototype. So uh, whenever we want to look at something or changing something, we take a look at this. Obviously, we're looking at something in the rear brakes or the rear suspension. This area is all the steel fab area. This fixture right here is for our GT cars. So this is going to be uh, the GT fixture that the base chassis for the Speed Source RX-8s are built and for the Turner BMW are built off of this fixture. I think we have one more Mazda to do for Speed Source right now. It'll take about a week and a half to build it. That just gets like the rough chassis and then it goes to Speed Source, and then they do all the fit and finish. They do, there's a lot of work that's done at Speed Source. So all the parts that are built um, get inspected, uh, they call down CAD drawings, um, and just make sure everything's right. A lot of the stuff is, uh, uh, the, is parts for a Daytona prototype or GS Camaro, like these little parts here are, are front, front sway bar mounts for a uh, Daytona prototype. So they're brand new off the, out of the machine shop, so we'll inspect them, and if they pass inspection, they'll go to anodize, and then they'll go on the parts shelf. And then every job has a job follower that's all barcoded, so we can see how much time is in each part as it goes through the shop. You know, front and a roll bar parts, and then here is an oil fitting part for a sensor. You know, and then miscellaneous chassis studs and spuds and all that type of thing. This goes on the back of Daytona prototype. And uh, it's, it's covered with a carbon cover, but this is what's inside of it for, uh, to absorb in, for a serious rear impact. So it's all honeycomb with corrugated steel. And this was built, actually designed um, and built for the IRL in the 90s. And a lot of testing, uh, and GM did a lot of the design work, and we did the manufacturing work. And uh, we knew we had a lot of samples crushed to take uh, G's out in a hard rear impact. So that's what... Uh, underneath the cover of the attenuator that's on the back of the gearbox. This is a design room in here. That's the uh, 2008 Daytona prototype body in CFD, you know, looking at all the airflow and what we need to do there to improve the car, which, you know, we made an improvement over the 2003 body quite a bit. That's a Daytona prototype up on the wall there. That's a 2008 car. We have the some of the CAD stuff for the 2012 body 
that we're working on, but we're just not ready to show that quite yet.